Hey guys, I'm Mario Goichai, owner and chef of Mr. G's Chop House, located in Shelby Township at 56129 Van Dyke, between 25 and 26 mile on the west side of the road. Today on Cooking with Mario, we're gonna be making our signature filet mignon with zip sauce. We're also gonna be pairing that with some uh, roasted fingerlings and Brussels sprouts. And we also have a cocktail going along with it, which is gonna be our holiday cranberry punch. Let's get cooking. Here are your ingredients. We have filet mignon, eight ounces. We have some red skin baby potatoes, a little bit of chopped up Brussels sprouts. We also have our finishing herbs here, parsley, chives as usual, my favorite. Uh, we have a little bit of garlic for our sauce. We have butter, soy sauce, flour, and heavy cream for our zip sauce. Always salt and pepper for seasoning. A little bit of uh, avocado oil for searing off our steak. And then we're also gonna make a nice cocktail today in between our cooking. So we have a uh, holiday punch with cranberry juice. It's gonna be Tito's, St. Germain, uh, cranberry juice, and we have some nice garnishes for that. For our eight ounce filet mignon here, we're gonna season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna make sure that my pan's hot, so I'm gonna get this pan turned up a little bit here. We're gonna go to a medium high heat so we can sear the filet, all right? And we're just gonna do a nice little season here. Wanna make sure that all sides are coated. You want it to taste good everywhere, right? Every bite should have some nice salt and pepper on it, okay? This is gonna be a really quick, easy dish. We're gonna do a pan sear on this. So we're gonna get a nice crust on our filet. And then while we're doing that, we're gonna start working on our potatoes and Brussels sprouts that are gonna go along with it. Okay, that's a nicely coated filet there. Just testing my pan here, make sure it's nice and hot. I'm gonna get some of this avocado oil in there. It has a high smoking point, so that way, you know, you're not gonna have any burnt rancid flavor. So we're going to use a little bit of this. Now remember, you're not frying, okay? So you're not going to have a ton of oil in your pan. You want to put about a good tablespoon. You want to coat the bottom. You're not frying anything here. This is just so that your steak doesn't stick. So we're going to give it a swirl. Soon as I see a tiny bit of smoke, I'm going to drop the filet down. The temperature of the cold filet is going to bring down the temperature of the uh, pan itself. So you're going to want to let that sit there. You don't have to touch it. Just let it sit there and kind of start building that crust. So this is getting very close. Like I said, we're at about a medium high heat here. All right, we're going to drop our filet. You hear that nice sizzle. Okay, now we're going to leave it alone. That thing's going to go. After a few minutes, you'll be able to see on the bottom there, it'll have a nice ring around. Um, then you'll know that it has a nice crust. It should be really easy to move it. It shouldn't be stuck to your pan at all. So now, I'm gonna heat up this pan here. We have these little baby red skin potatoes, which are kind of like fingerling potatoes. They're super tender. They don't take long at all to cook. So I just quartered them up or you can do them into eighths, so it cooks really quickly. Um, so we're gonna get these in the pan with some oil, some butter. We're gonna let them kind of roast off in the pan, and then we're gonna finish them in the oven. Um, this is also very quick and easy, so here we go. So we have our oil. Bring this over. Gonna get these potatoes in. Try to get a nice sear on them. I wanna get some color on them. Okay, step over here, check on the filet. I'll give it a tiny bit of a push here. I see it's not quite ready, so we're not gonna bother it, okay? So now, the potatoes are going, we're gonna get some color on these potatoes. As Soon as we get the color that we're really looking for, we're gonna pop them in the oven, we're gonna finish them in, in the oven. I'm trying to time everything at the same time here, um, so that way, you know, we're not going in and out of the oven 100 times, and that's kind of the way that I would cook at home also. So I'm just trying to show you, I guess, my method. Um, this looks like it's about ready. So we're gonna flip it over. It's got a beautiful crust on it. It's got just the right color that I'm looking for. I'm gonna turn down the heat just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna let that go 
again, probably for another couple of minutes until it gets another nice crust on it. Meanwhile, I'm watching my potatoes. They don't have any color on them yet, so I'm gonna let them keep going. So this is kind of our holiday season, right? So while that stuff's working, I'm not trying to get stressed out. I have some ice here. We're gonna start our little cranberry holiday punch. So we're gonna fill up this glass with some ice. And you know, treat yourself good when you're cooking. So there it is. This is super simple. You're gonna take a little bit of vodka, a little or as much as you like, but we're gonna use this Tito's here, about an ounce. After that, we're using a St. Germain Aldeflower liqueur. This is really kind of like a nice, almost peachy flavor, peachy smell to it, but it's really unique. Really changes up your cocktail. So you're gonna do about a half an ounce of that. And we're gonna top it off with some cranberry juice over here. Maybe a little bit more ice. Okay. Now just because it's the holidays, we're gonna be a little extra festive here. We're gonna put a little rosemary sprig, a couple of these nice fresh cranberries. And this is our cranberry punch for the holidays. Drink that while you're cooking. It'll make it seem like time flies by. So this filet is going off really, really well. Got some really good color on it. What I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna dump out this excess oil in here. And now I'm gonna add my Brussels sprouts. So we're adding the Brussels. We're gonna add a nice knob of butter here. And we're gonna just finish this off in the oven. I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the steak. We're gonna take out the excess oil from the pan. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of butter here right on top, it's gonna kinda baste it. Turn this off. So we got our filet in the oven, we have our potato, we have our Brussels sprout, we have our drink. I mean, how simple was that? So this is probably gonna take about eight minutes in the oven here. So while this is cooking, let's give this a try. Cheers, that's pretty good if I could say so myself. It's nice sipping on it, especially with having the nice smell of the rosemary. I would definitely recommend putting this in there. It looks beautiful, I think your friends will all enjoy it. So we let our filet cook for about eight minutes now. All right. Now this looks really good. Now that we pulled our filet out and it's fully cooked, I'm letting it rest. All the juices are kind of just gonna stay in there and kind of relax itself, so we're just gonna let that rest. It's still gonna come up a little bit in temperature. I think it'll be perfect by the time that it's ready to serve. Our next item is gonna be the zip sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a roux. A roux is just a little bit of flour and butter that's cooked out so you don't really taste the flour. Uh, so we're just gonna make a little bit of roux and then we're gonna add our soy sauce and more butter to the pan, finish it with some cream. Let's get started with that. So we're gonna start with a little bit of flour here and some butter. Roughly equal parts. We'll see how this comes out. Okay, so as the butter's melting, you wanna make sure to incorporate that flour. Here we go, got a whisk here. Smells really good, it smells really like nutty, buttery, kind of pastry. So I got this going now, this looks pretty nice. It might be a tiny bit watery. 
little bit too much butter, so we're gonna put a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of flour. Not much, it goes a really long way. I'm gonna give that a whisk here. Just wanna thicken it up. Now this is gonna be a nice base for the rest of the sauce. So we're gonna add our soy sauce here. And we're gonna whisk it. So now this roux should really be whisking really nicely into this soy sauce. It'll give it a nice velvety texture. It's thickening up exactly how I thought it would. Looking good. I'm gonna add a little bit more soy sauce here and we're gonna finish it off with some more butter. Rich, velvety, nice deep flavor. It's gonna go perfect with the filet. Okay, I'm gonna take that off the heat. I just don't want the sauce to break. I don't want the, the butter to separate here. Okay, we're gonna add another knob of butter, whisk again. This is our finishing touch. We wanna make sure it's really, really good. If for any reason, you know, if it ever gets too thick on you, you can always add a little bit of water to thin it out. This is looking pretty good here. I'm gonna finish it off with some cream. Just give it that richness. Okay. I'm gonna taste it. Make sure it tastes good. I know it looks good. I know it smells good. Gotta make sure it tastes good now. So, almost there. Got my little spoon. That tastes really, really good. Tiny bit of salt. Tiny bit of black pepper. Just kicking it up, more flavor, more depth. So now what we're gonna do, the filet has been resting. We pulled out our roasted off potatoes and Brussels sprouts. We're gonna plate that here. Okay. Now we have our sauce. Nice and hot. We're just gonna go right over the top. We're gonna coat our steak in the zip sauce. That looks delicious. Okay. And of course, my favorite, we have some nice beautiful herbs here. A Little bit of fresh parsley. Some chives, I love chives. And dinner is served. Filet mignon with zip sauce, some roasted vegetables, baby potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. I hope you guys try to make this at home. It's gonna come out wonderful. Enjoy. Thanks again for joining us on Cooking with Mario. I hope you guys enjoyed our filet mignon dish today. Really something nice to enjoy with your friends and family during the holidays. Come cook with us again on Cooking with Mario. Thanks again for watching today, guys. If you like what you saw today on Cooking with Mario, go ahead and follow us, The Mitt TV, on YouTube. Click on the notification bell and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon on Cooking with Mario.